Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing the Clorox laundry sanitizer to see how well it removes bacteria from my cleaning cloths. So this video is a viewer request. I received requests from So in order to test how well this Clorox laundry sanitizer works, what I'm going to do is take some white cleaning cloths and wipe areas around my home where I know I can get a lot of bacteria. My kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. Then I'm going to take a petri dish like this guy and some sterile swabs. And I'll swab the cleaning cloths and place those samples on petri dishes to ensure that I have bacteria on my cloths. Then I'm going to wash the cleaning cloths with the Clorox laundry sanitizer, we'll read the directions in a moment, but I'm not going to use any detergent so that we can test just Clorox's ability to remove the bacteria. When they're done with the wash, I'll swab them again, I'll put them in the dryer, and when they come out of the dryer, I'll swab them again. This way we can see how much bacteria are on the cloths before washing, after washing, and after drying. So let's see how we're supposed to use this Clorox laundry sanitizer. Okay, one of the first things it states is do not mix with laundry detergents in the main wash compartment. I have had many people comment on like my laundry Lysol sanitizer videos that say, hey, I just put it all in with the soap. These sanitizers clearly state that you're not supposed to do that. They're supposed to be used in the rinse cycle. So in order to sanitize, it says to add to the rinse cycle, leave product in rinse cycle for 16 minutes. And it lists the bacteria that it can remove. Okay, so my washing machine does not give me the option to add a soak during the rinse time. So I'm just going to put this in my fabric softener dispenser for the rinse cycle and just follow what my washing machine cycle is. It will not get a full 16 minutes. We're just going to test it that way because that's how my washing machine works. So I have a high efficiency machine, so we'll read those directions first. It says add 3.3 ounces to the fabric softener compartment of the washing machine or directly to your rinse cycle. So that's what I'll do. I'll put it in the um, little fabric softener compartment there. If you're just using this to remove odors and not to sanitize, then you only need to add 1.7 ounces to the compartment. Okay, now I just want to make a note here. This does come with its own measuring cap. This is not the cap to the product. This is actually the cap to the product. This is actually a measuring cup. And the fill line is 1.7. So I'll use two of these in my HE machine fabric softener compartment. Now, if you have a standard machine, it says to add 14.9 ounces to the fabric softener compartment of your washing machine or add to your rinse cycle. Now, I know my fabric softener compartment would never be able to hold uh, 14 ounces. So if you have a standard machine, you're going to want to make a note when your washing machine switches to rinse and add this manually. So let's see how well the Clorox laundry sanitizer removes bacteria from my cleaning cloths without using any laundry detergent first.
Now for some results. First, let's look at how much bacteria I was able to get on these cleaning cloths. First, let's look at the kitchen sink and the kitchen sink drain. Well, we can see from this that there's a lot of bacteria on those cleaning cloths. I did a good job at not cleaning my sink and making sure I got a great sampling of bacteria there. In the bathroom sink and the toilet rim, again, I have a ton of bacteria on these cleaning cloths. This is perfect. Next, let's look at the results after washing with only the Clorox laundry sanitizer in the rinse cycle. The kitchen sink and the kitchen sink drain. This is fantastic. If you look very closely at the Petri dishes, which I do, there are two very tiny bacterial colonies on the Petri dishes, one on the kitchen sink side and one on the kitchen sink drain side. But honestly, this is a fantastic result. So the Clorox laundry sanitizer did an excellent job at removing the bacteria from my cleaning cloths. The bathroom sink and the toilet rim. I found no bacteria at all on this Petri dish. So the Clorox laundry sanitizer did an amazing job at removing the bacteria from my cleaning cloths. Let's take a look at the side by side of before washing and after washing. Now let's look at after the cloths came out of the dryer, the kitchen sink and the kitchen sink drain. I could not find any bacterial colonies at all in this Petri dish. So all the bacteria was removed from that cleaning cloth. In the toilet rim and the bathroom sink, again, all the bacteria is removed from the cleaning cloth, so that's fantastic. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Clorox laundry sanitizer. It was able to remove the bacteria from my cleaning cloths using two capfuls in the fabric softener compartment in my rinse cycle with no laundry detergent. If you're curious how well just a plain laundry detergent does remove bacteria, you should check out my video where I just tested Tide Pods and I think you'd be surprised at how much bacteria is left on those cloths. And for those of you wondering what the scent is, this is labeled Active Fresh. Now, I don't know what an Active Fresh is, but it smells very perfumey. Um, there's definitely a smell there. It's not like a floral scent. It's, it's hard to describe actually, but it does smell perfumey. Um, I could smell it as the cloths were being washed in the wash machine. I definitely smelt it as I moved from the wash machine to the dryer. Um, but once I took them out of the dryer, I did not notice the scent. So I'm going to say it does not linger. Um, it didn't bother me. It is just a different sort of scent. I just don't know what active fresh is. It definitely just smells perfumey. If you've used this and you have a description for the scent, do me a favor and put it in the comments below. 
So overall, I'm super impressed with the Clorox laundry sanitizer. I think it did a great job removing the bacteria from my cleaning cloths. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should check my mailbox. I recently got a method product in my mailbox and I have no idea who sent it to me. And I'd like to know who sent it to me before I do my testing on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.